What's up everyone, this is Cybernat, and today we're going to open up a CardFit Vanguard G Big and Collectibles crate for you guys. I've seen a lot of requests for another uh, crate opening, so yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and uh, see what we get from it. So of course, obviously, I got this from Bing Collectibles, so be sure to check them out, link in the description. I've linked to all different crates too, they have all kinds of different uh, ones you can get. I always open up the, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh crates on my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh channel too, if you guys want to check those out. And there's all kinds of other crates too, so I'll have a link to the, the full list in the description. So we have our mystery pack, I don't know what we'll get out of that. And then booster packs, booster packs for days. <laughs> so let's see, Transcension, Sovereign Star, Reckless Rampage. Just all kinds of, I'm not going to name off everyone, but it looks like a good variety. More Dragon Fang. Hopefully, hopefully you guys are getting tired of Dragon Fang, man. <laughs> Seems like we've had a lot of openings on that lately. So some great cards in that, too. Let's see, nothing else in the box. I'm just going to set that aside. And let's go with the Mystery Pack first, because I have no idea what could be in this. Well, I should probably get some scissors or something. I say as I'm trying to tear into it anyway. I think I can get it. I believe in myself. There we go. Looks like we have some dice. Show you guys those here in a second. And make sure everything's out of there. Okay, there we go. So we have some Bean Collectibles dice you can see here. Might have to actually take them out of the packaging. They're a little bit tough to see. Get some glare. Whoop. Let go of it. There we go. Alright, as you can see here, really nice looking. Like red and blue. I like the design of these. There, I'll show you guys the Bing Collectibles logo on them. Those are really nice. I like those. I need to get some Cyber Knight dice made. Maybe we'll do that in the future. Let's see, we have a couple of promo cards. We have Strike, Star Vader, uh, Krypton. That's really cool. And I guess it's just like a mystery thing. I don't know if I can show you it through the sleeve or what. So we'll just take them out of the top loader. And let's see, we have Claydol Mechanic and uh, Sabmu, I guess I say that. So there we go. Two uh, promo cards. Okay. So pretty cool. Guess it's random, you know, for different people. And then we also have a deck box, which is Triumph Return to King of Knights. So that's really cool looking too. You can put these together really easily. I'm going to keep this uh, all, you know, folded like this for now though because I already have a few of these and uh, yeah, I'm going to set this aside for the future whenever I need another deck box. But they're really simple to fold together. It takes like two seconds. So I really like them. I wish more card games would use that style of deck box. They're, they're a little bit flimsier, like you wouldn't be able to put in your pocket. But they are really nice to be able to put some together real quick and uh, have a deck box. Because they're not like the hard plastic, obviously. Alright, so let's see what we can start off with. Get a Royal Paladin, right? What we did get a Royal Paladin is the Rare Resurgent Snide uh, uh, Stratus. That gives us a Rare, starting off. Let's see. Sovereign Star Dragon. I should say the pack moves, shouldn't I? You guys can also see them, though. And we have a rare, which is Ambush Demon Stealth Fiend, which you want to uh, train. Rare. Reckless Rampage. Throwing the advertisement card thing to the side, <laughs> in case you guys are wondering. Let's see. And it looks like we got something good. Let's see, we have a rare, which is Stealth Beast uh, Katari Gitsuni, I guess how you say that. And then we have a double rare, which is a Savage Guardian, with Tachikaze. Oh, that's awesome. There we go. It gives us a Sentinel card, too, so that's really cool. All right, next up, Catastrophic Outbreak. Time for some Link Jokers. And, oh man, we have a uh, promo card starting off with a CO Amaterasu. <laughs> that is awesome. I've never seen like that, where you actually just get a, a promo card like that at the beginning. That, that's that got to be good. Now that is really cool looking too. It's like the chibi version of her. So that's awesome. I'm going to set this aside for just a second. Let's see if there's anything else. And uh, we also have Rear, which is Space Leviathan, uh, Dogu Madra? Dogu Madra? Something like that. So yeah, I have never seen a promo card like that. That's got to be a good thing, right? 
I've had some amazing luck with booster packs lately, so I'm going to assume that this is awesome. Because, well, it looks awesome anyway. I mean, come on, it's chibi a version of CEO Amaterasu. So, yeah, you can't go wrong with that anyway. So, that is really cool. I, I, that threw me off because I was thinking, wait, is that a... Did I open a promo pack? Or... I don't know, I've never had that happen. Generation Stride? I'll have to look that up after this. I'm trying to stay up to date on everything. But, uh... I did not know that could happen. Let's see, we have uh, Steam's car uh, GG, and that is a rare. That's a pretty good one to get, too. It's one of the better rares. And uh, Blazing Perdition. Let's see. Oh, focus. There we go. And we have a rare, which is Metalborg uh, Lion Lionetter. Something like that. Infinite Phantom Legion. Nova Grapplers. Let's get some of those Novas. Looks like we might have something. Okay, it's a rare. It's hard to tell. It looks like the kind of double rare rarity that we've been seeing lately, where it's just kind of regular holographic. That is Brutal Jack, though. So that's a good rare to get either way. Throws me off how they change the rares. The way they look. Sometimes you think you have something awesome, and then you remember, oh, what's well, this set? So it's it's different. See, so it looks like yes, another rare, which is uh, Death Metal Droid. See, which one's this one? Legion of Dragons and Blades. Small writing on that one, so let's make sure <laughs> I said the name. And it looks like yes, another rare one's Gold Paladin too, and the Shower Liberator. Uh, Trehern? Trehern, I guess they say that. Alright, Moonlit Dragon thing. And it is a rare, which is Steam Battler uh, Kong Bao? Kong Bao? Something like that. There's Crazy Jackknife Dragon. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. It really does look like Jack Knife to me. Except maybe on some drugs. Who knows? <laughs> Virtuoso Housekeeper, which is a rare. Jack Knife Dragon's been on some hard times, evidently. And it looks like, yes, another rare, which is a twice talented Gear Hound. So far, we're getting a lot of rares. Hopefully, that will change here in a second. Oh, the dragon thing. Come on, save us from all these rares. It looks like it might have. And we have a triple rare. You know what? That will definitely save us. <laughs> and that is a true eradicator, finish blow dragon, Narakami. <laughs> I thought I could see, you know, the wave hell graphics. I was thinking, is that a triple rare? Or am I getting punked again? What's going on? But that is awesome. Glad to see that. We have a triple rare. And Champions of the Cosmos. We have two packs left on those, so... Let's see what else we can get. And it looks like, yes, another triple rare. Okay, that is Immortal Asura Kaiser. Man, that looks really cool. Double triple rares. Man, that's weird to say. Now that I think about it. But, uh, yeah, that's still really awesome. And, last pack. Well, can we end with anything higher than a rare? Let's see. I know, I'm getting greedy now. It's time for that third, the legendary third triple rare. Is it possible? The myth, the legend? And, you know what? It's a double rare. I'll take that. I will definitely take that. That is a blow, uh, Dunkel, Dunkel Hilt? I think it says that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's awesome. At least we ended with something, you know, a high rarity card. So that is really cool. So yeah, uh, that is the crate opening. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I know I've seen a lot of requests for these. And uh, tell me in the comments if you guys would like to see, you know, at least one of these every month or something like we do with uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. And of course, also give me some ideas on future openings you guys would like to see. If there's some older sets or booster packs or just different things on that too. And of course, on this channel, we always open up anything new that comes out for Card to Vanguard, Future Card Buddy Fight, Y Schwartz, and Force of Will. So again, as always, uh, thank you guys for watching. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.